This video was made in cooperation with developers Clapfoot and some of the Foxhole community members. I will warn anyone watching this video, I am not a professional at doing these kind of things. My audio balancing in this video is borderline non-existent, and the convention center was very loud. However, I'm going to put this as an immersive feature, since, to be honest, the developers did have to put up with a lot of noise over the course of the convention. So, what you're hearing in the background is what they had to deal with for roughly 8 to 9 hours out of their day. So, apologies for that in advance. And now, on with the video. So, you're here now at PAX. Yes. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm HB. I'm one of the developers of uh, Foxhole. Uh, yeah. And uh, this is day one of PAX. How was the setup process for you yesterday and today? Uh, it was a little bit hectic because uh, our flight was a little bit delayed, so we ended up arriving later than the booth was open for us to get our badges. But thankfully, the people from PAX are always very receptive. They're always very nice. They try to accommodate us. So they, allowed, they, they managed to get us in. It was, it was fine. It was great. Uh, we always tried to do something different with the booth. So we were figuring out like what's the best way. We wanted to make like kind of like a lounge place. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And what's different? Because this is not the first time you guys have been to PAX. What's <laughs> different about your booth this year as opposed to the previous years? I think the main thing for our booth is not the booth in per se. But, well, the first thing that is really cool is that for the first time we had a lot of contributions from the community. So there's like all the like all the props that you are you seeing around, like the radio, like the, the things that are running, like on the background of the audio. These are all community made, which is a first for us. Hello, I'm uh, I'm Loxon. I've uh, been playing Foxhole for about two and a half years. I uh, basically about a week after Steam release. It's, it's a bit of fun ride. I'm about a thousand and four hundred or uh, yeah, one thousand forty hours, and it's it's been a fun it's been a fun game. Well, I heard that uh, Voxel, the dev teams, uh, they came up to uh, Seattle, and I live in the area, so I I thought, hey, I know the game, and I want to help out, so I came out here and uh, decided uh, to uh, talk to people, give them my impression, give them my history, and uh, it's been it's been pretty fun. And what specifically have you done for the booth itself? Because I can see a few props laying around here. Oh, I, I heard that uh, there was a little bit of lackluster for uh, the booth. But I just wanted to bring a little bit of life, a little bit of, uh, you know, coherence, what's what. So I, I built some P-mats. I built some, uh, some uh, sandbags and a, a, a loose representation of our mats. And I even brought an oil drum just to make sure. <laughs> it, it was all that, I, you know, was, I could have brought more, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, crazy brought that radio. The, the radio, yeah. That was pretty nice. That's what we had on hand. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's personality, right? We don't need we don't need all the corporation big stuff. We we have personality. This is what we have, you know, it's a fun game. But I think what is gonna be really different from the previous years is that um, usually we have to like really upsell and like showcase who we are because Foxhole is was a small game that nobody knew. Uh, we ha had not come for PAX West last year, so this year, it's been two years since I, ha I haven't come here. This is going to be the first time at PAX West in which we are like pretty well known, and I think that's going to be a big, big difference for the booth and for people in here. Hello, I'm Max, or Crazy Flying Chicken, from uh, the community manager here for Clapwood. And um, how tired are you after the setup? <laughs> Uh, we arrived so late last night. Did they tell you that, that already? They, we arrived late last night. We couldn't get the exhibitor badges, so we had to get escorted in by the enforcers. And when we got in here, it was like we didn't have anything. We didn't even have a screwdriver, so we had to go and bum some off of the other like uh, the other exhibitors and uh, managed to put it all together. Alcus ran out and got the TV. So, <laughs> because this TV I brought me home. <laughs> nice. How many people are you expecting to come by, let's say, for just even today? 
Oh, the line outside is incredible. Um, I, we actually don't expect that many people to come in on Friday. Most people on Friday will have, hang out on the main show floor, but through the weekend, I have no doubt we're going to have a ton of people here. Do you guys have lots of water prepared? Yes. I got a giant flat of water. I got food. I got lozenges for my throat. <laughs> it should be good. And we're taking shifts this year. Because last year we did like eight hours. Like all of us would be here the whole time. And by the end of it, we were so done. So this, this year we're spreading out a little bit. Just at the end of day one, how was day one for PAX for you? Exhausting. I have only finished half my bag of lozenges. We've gone through like 10 different bottles of water, but we're good. I think we're still pretty fresh. And how was the general reception to Foxhole for people who had never played it before? Generally pretty positive. We actually had a lot of people come around who already owned the game before. They were just coming by to show their support, which is awesome. I love that. And what's more, what's blowing my mind is like we got people like I saw a bear, and we got Roxon, and we got uh, Stranger Days who are just sitting here helping people work them through it. And with... That's Stranger over there. And it's just absolutely boring. Like it's just incredible. And I'm not a community presence we have here. All right, HB, it's the end of day two. How was day two, at least compared to day one? Oh, it was tough. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had so much more people. We had a lot more noise, a lot more traffic. And my voice is way more gone. <laughs> how How was uh, Super Soul Bros, the musicians today? They are amazing. Actually, they were a little, they were less loud than yesterday. Huh. They continue to be pretty good. I, I'm very happy that they are around. It's just that my voice complains. Because talking over them is hard. But it was awesome, yeah. Cool. It's Mark Foot here. Um, I am the, the team lead on, on Foxhole. And uh, we've been working on Foxhole for three years now. So we're here at the Foxhole Community Meetup here at PAX West. Uh, how's it going for the meetup and uh, how, how successful, I suppose, do you think it was? I think it's very successful um, because for us, we don't do PAX to get more sales. We don't do PAX to get more players necessarily. That's sort of like a bonus. For us, the main reason why we come to PAX is for the players uh, so that we can meet with you guys at like one on one. And I think from, for that objective, I think it's been a success. And the one amazing thing that is better each and every year that we go to PAX, there's more and more people who stop by our booth. They already know Foxhole, and that makes our lives so much easier. And, it, and it's great to, you know, it's always nice to bring in a new player, but there's always this sort of like, a bit of like a marketing sense to it. I enjoy talking about the game, I enjoy bringing a new player, but what's, what's the best feeling in the world is when we see a player that has played the game. We also get to keep in touch with those players so they can come by and be like, hey, boy, you know, we, and we, we played the game, we love the game, and we can't wait until we see what's next. What do you expect for tomorrow, day three? It's not good. It's not good. It's more of the same today. I think Saturday is usually actually the hardest day, more than Sunday. Even. But now with Monday also being a, like a fourth day. I don't know, man. It's kind of like... It's pretty cool that we have a lot of people that know us now, and then they come back. So I know that a couple of people said, like, oh, we had a couple of people telling me that they're going to try to the game tonight and then come back tomorrow. So I hope to see them again. That's going to be really cool. That's a good, that's a good idea. Treat yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to eat this time. Oh, you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I didn't know you gave permissions around here. Oh, wait, you are a mod. That's right. <laughs> I don't. That's the irony. So it's now day three, and uh, how are you feeling after two days of packs? I feel great. Do you, you really, though? The sound of my voice. 
<laughs> I choke it down lozenges like candy. Yeah, you guys got a lot of uh, equipment stockpiled back here, do you not? Equipment, candy, food, everything. Yep. So how have the crowds been today on day three as compared to day two and one? Oh, they're terrible. Just absolutely terrible. <laughs> Nobody worth talking to. Here, to it's been fantastic. You can see like the whole place is just filled. Mm -hmm. so, Lots of players checking out the game. A lot of people asking questions, which is good. Mm -hmm. And have there been a lot of questions that you haven't been able to answer, or have they all been pretty standard and pretty, uh, pretty, pretty rehearsed questions? I suppose. Pretty good, pretty good. We had one guy come up here pretend like he'd never played the game before, and then he starts running Lodgy like he's the oldest pro. He starts driving like he goes to the home region, builds a truck, starts driving into the front line. I'm like, you played this before. He's like, ah, you caught me. So I'm glad. There's definitely a lot of mix. New people, and a lot of old veterans who used to play back in early access. So. How's the uh, how's the interaction with the new players or the older fans, the older vets been with for you so far? New players, game? it's always been fun to like tell them what the game's all about. And then you mentioned like you know there's there's attrition, right? If you if you don't have supply, you're that you lose that spot, but you can bring stuff there. You can choose what to do and who to be. You don't have to. Some, someone says, "Hey, you're the medic." You don't want to be the medic. You don't have to. Be. Yeah. If you want to be the combat guy, you can go do that. If you want to be the leader, be a leader. Be inspiring. And uh, to talk to old vets, it's actually really nice. You you have people that come in like, "Oh yeah, I've been playing for you know 40 hours, 100 hours, 700 hours." And you're like, hey, well, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. And there's that connection. There's, there's that, like, camaraderie mm -hmm. that this game really does sell. It's day four. Good morning. How much energy do you have left? Also, it's noon. I have four energy left. Got you. Exactly Out of how four. Understood. How, have the crowds died down a little bit today on day four? Yes, but I don't think it really dies down much for the boots. I think a lot of people take money and sort of take it easy, so a lot of people still come up here. But it's been, it's been steady. It's been steady. That's good. How many, uh, how many lozenges do you have left? Not many. <laughs> I have like four left. All right, well, but, you, you still got another six hours. Got six hours, and then we got breakdown. We got a giant barrel we got to bring down those stairs. We don't have a dolly, so. Blame Loxon for that one. Yeah, There's six hours remaining. Are you excited, or are you sad? I, I uh, a little bit of hope, I guess. You know, it's good to finish on a high note, and we had a lot of people coming. It was a lot of fun. So a little bit sad, but you know, going back home is not bad. <laughs> Are your muscles prepared for all the packing you're going to have to do as well? Yes. <laughs> no, I, uh, yesterday I made sure uh, that I slept a lot, so I'm, I'm pretty actually well rested, way more than you know, two days before. All right, Max. Well, PAX has finally ended. How does it feel? Awesome. Feels awesome. It'll feel better when I'm at home in the bedroom. Because you guys still have all this to take down, right? Oh yeah. Oh boy. But it's all it's all locks and stuff. So we're just gonna make him carry it down. <laughs> That's fair. How many people would you say you've talked to over the course of the entire weekend? Just Me personally? Yeah. yeah. Hundreds. Okay. I'd say at least at least a hundred. How many people would you say you talked to over the course of the entire weekend? Um, too hard to think. It's the fourth day. I'm way too tired. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my math is completely off, but um, well, maybe fifty to hundred. 
I don't know. I'm nice. probably way off on that estimate at this point. Oh, God, I have no idea. I mean, that's definitely in the hundreds, but... Rough guess. For, rough guess. Uh, a rough guess? Yeah, please. Let me see, let me think. Like, okay, let me do like a, a like a sidearm math. I would say I would probably talk about a hundred something people per day, about five hundred people total. And uh, how many hours of sleep in the last four days would you say you've gotten? I had terrible sleep until last night, <laughs> where my body just couldn't take it anymore. I just uh, finally got good sleep on the on the third. Third night. Sure. <laughs> I lost track of time. How many hours would you say you've gotten in the last four days of sleep? Uh, several, actually. Uh, yesterday, again, I did not go clubbing like you, <laughs> and I actually went to sleep, so it was fantastic. You expecting to see a lot of their, uh, a lot of their Steam names pop up in game now? Yeah, this is a good deal, actually. It's it's. It's interesting that we think that the people who were the most interested in the game actually weren't people who sat down and played. Most of them were people that just stood around and watched everybody else play. You could tell, you could see the gears in their mind turning. And by the questions they were asking, like, how does logistics work? Like, that sort of thing is like, oh, this guy's definitely going to pick it up. And yeah, I would say more than half the people we talked to, I, I would expect to see. Uh, so, good packs overall, though? It was the best packs yet. Yeah, and I, I really mean it. Like. I, we've done a lot of PAXs, and at one point, I was like, you know, just to sort of, to sort of feel the same. Um, but definitely the last three PAXs have each one gotten better for us, and because every time we've been, you know, we have the Fox Hope community now, and, and that's why it's gotten better, right? Whereas before, we were just kind of standing around trying to um, show people the game, but now we're actually able to talk to a lot of players, like a lot of players. Um, there's, there's players of all kinds of like backgrounds. Like some of them, they play Voxel a lot. Sometimes some of them, they play Voxel launch, and then they're just waiting for a good time to come back. So it's just, it, it's, it's great. What are you looking forward to the most when you get back, get back home? Uh, see my girlfriend again. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a fair. That's a fair. <laughs> You close it down and we are clear.